Good day everyone, today we will be discussing about solving word problems involving division of decimals. We are going to differentiate different kinds of decimals. First, we have terminating decimal. It is a decimal in which the number of decimal places is finite. There is an end to the division of the dividend and divisor. We have, for example, 7 divided by 8. So if you're going to divide that, you have 7 divided by 8. This is our dividend and the divisor. Since we cannot divide 7 divided by 8, we can put decimal point and then add 0. Then we can now divide 70 divided by 8. That is um, 8. So we have 64, and then subtract it, that is 6, then add more zeros, bring down more zeros, divide again, we have 7, then subtract, it's 56, multiply, then it's 56, then you subtract, we have 4, and then add more zero until the, there will be no remainder, then add, uh, bring down 0, divide, then that's 5, 40, no more remainder. So this is an example of terminating decimal because um, there will there is no remainder and there is a finite answer to quotient. There is an end to the division of the dividend and the divisor. Now another kind of decimal is repeating decimal. It is a decimal with repeated digits. The digit or set of digits that repeats it is called repetend. The repetent can be indicated by a bar above the repeating digit or digits. Example, we have 5 divided by 11. So, since we can't divide, you add decimal point and then 0. So, that decimal point here. Then we have 4. That is 44. We have 6. Add more 0. This is 5. Then this is 55. And this is 5, another 0, okay, then we have 4, then it's 44, then 6. As you can see, um, when we when we bring down more 0, it repeats again to 60, and then 50, and then 60 again, and then 50. Therefore, it always, the answer is always 45. It will not end to to this kind of answer so you can have point 45 and then you put a bar above that means it is a repeating digits so of 0.45 45 45 and so on okay next another is non terminating decimal it is a decimal in which the number of decimal places is infinite there is no end to the division of the dividend and divisor. For example, we have 6 divided by 3. 6 divided by 13, I'm sorry. So, a decimal point. Then we have that is 5. No, it's 4. Okay, so we have 12 carry 1, that's 52. Then, subtract 8, bring down 0. We have... 5, 6, yeah, 6. So we have 18, carry 1, 72, another 0, bring down 20 divided 13 is 1, 13, 7, add another 0, we have 5, okay, and that is 65, then another 5, Add another zero here, then bring down, and then you divide again. We have three, that is nine, thirty-nine, thirty-nine, fifty minus thirty-nine is eleven. Then add another zero here is continuation. So hundred ten, that is um this is eight. This is 24, carry 2, 10, and then there's a 6, and then and I add another 0 again, then you divide it again, that is 4, so that is 12, carry 1, 52. So as you can see, 
The number of decimal places is infinite. There is no end to the division. Therefore, that is what you call non-terminating decimal. Now, let's apply all our learnings to about dividing decimals by applying it to word problems. Now, let's read a story for today about a day in a bookstore. Annie bought six notebooks for 79 pesos and 50 centavos. How much did each notebook cost? So based from this um, story problem, we are going to divide because if you're going to pay 79.50 and then you bought six notebooks, how much, how much is the notebook, each notebook? So in solving word problem, first, we already discussed this a lot of times and we need to, when you solve a per word problem, you need to think, know what is asked, you need to plan on how are you going to solve and then solve it uh, with the um, your solution and then state with the complete answer you always follow as a form of equation first if it's a word problem you put the equation the solution and then the answer so let us answer the story problem if anna bought annie bought six notebooks for 750 how much did each notebook cost so we are going to divide the equa our equation would be 79 79.50 divided by 6 is equals to n. Now let's solve. So we have 79.50 divided by 6. So going back to our lesson about division, put the decimal point on top of the decimal point of the dividend and start dividing. So 70 by 6 is 1. The 6, that is 9, is 3, 18, 1, then bring down 5, that is 2, 12, 3, 0, then 5. Therefore, and then there's 30, no more remainder. Therefore, each notebook cost 13 pesos and 25 centavos. So that is our answer. Now, let us have more examples about dividing decimals. It can be with other operations, it can be with addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Okay, let's have this. John and his teammates have the following heights. John is 1.85 meter, Mark is 1.94 meters, Joshua is 1.7 meters, and Ryan is 1.51 meters. What is their average height? When we say average, it deals with um, addition and then division. So how are we going to get the average or their average height? So first, what you're going to do is to add first the height of John, Mark, Joshua, and Ryan. So we have the equation here should be 1.85. Some parentheses here. Because we're going to add first 1.85 plus 1.94. Plus 1.7 plus 1.51. Then, whatever is the answer, you divide it to 4. Where did we get that 4? Because we are going to divide or we need to get the average of the four persons here. We have John, Mark, Joshua, and Ryan. So that's why we're going to divide by 4 so to get the average height. So let's add. We have for the solution. Let's add it manually. 1.85 plus 1.94 plus 1.7 plus 1.51. Okay. I had 0. So the empty place value. So we have 10. Carry 1. 10, 18. 18, 25, 30. Carry 3. That is 7. So the total of the 4 heights is 7 then we're going to divide it to 4 that is 1 we have 4 we have 3 0 um that is 7 that is 28 we have 2 bring down 0 that is 5 that is 20 no more remainder therefore the average height of the four um persons here is 1.75 meters so we have here the answer is the average height is 1.75 meters 
Next, Nathan has a rectangular lot of 872.25 square meters. He needs to divide the lot equally among her one son and three daughters. How much of the lot will each receive? So we have here, it's very obvious that we're going to divide because of the word divide. But how many are we going to divide? We have four. So one for the one son and three daughters. So for our equation, we have 875.25 divided by 4 is equals to n. To solve, we have 875.25 divided by 4, that is 2, 8, 7, um, 1, is 4, 35, it's 8, 32, that is 3, then bring down 2, we have 8, 32, 0, then bring down 5, we have 1, this is 4, 1, bring, the, uh, bring down 0, because we're going to add 0 until there will be no remainder. We have 2, and then 8, have 2, bring down 0, add 0, and then bring down 0, we have 5. Therefore, the answer here, each, um, each child will receive 218.8125 square meters of blocks. The class of 6H collaboration needs to cook 4.2 kilograms of porridge for their outreach program. How many ch street children can they feed if, they, um, if each cup of porridge weighs 0.12 kilogram? So again, this is also division because it deals with how many street children? If, the word each here. Okay. So, for our equation, we have 4.2 divided by 0 0.12 is equals to n. To solve, we have 4.2 divided by 0 0.12. Going to divide um, a number that the divisor is a decimal number, then we need to make it a whole number. First, before we we're going to do it because we cannot divide if the divisor is a decimal number. So what we're going to do is to move, move here 1, 2 to make it a whole number. So this will become 12. And if you're going to move two places here, you need to move also two places on the dividend so that the value will not change. We have 1, 2, add 0. Therefore, the decimal point now is here. Now let's divide. So 42 divided by 2, we have... 3 is 36 so that is 6 bring down 0 then the answer here 60 divided by 12 is 5 that is 60 so there there is no remainder therefore the answer is um how many street children there are 8 35 children okay last example Rose has 5 kilograms of chicken feeds. If her chicken is fed twice a day and eats 0.25 kilogram of food each feeding, how many days will her chicken consume its food? So, we are going to divide. We have our equation would be 5 divided by, since as you can see here, her chicken is fed twice a day. And each feeding, the, it eats 0 0.25 kilograms. So what we're going to do is to multiply first 0 0.25 times 2 because of the word twice. And then we're talking about a day. This equals to n. Okay, so let's do perform first inside parentheses. So 0 0.25 times 2 following the PEMDAS rule. Uh, perform first inside the parentheses you then you do the multiplication division and addition or subtraction so we have times 2 we have 10 carry 1 5 0 so count 1 2 therefore our decimal point is here 1 2 so this 5 divided by 0.5 now then we can now divide 
5 divided by 0.5 so again how why did we are going to uh, multiply 0.25 times 2 because we're talking about days how many days we're not talking about each feeding okay so let's divide we have 5 divided by 0.5 so again we need to make it a whole number first we count we move the decimal point one place one move and then from here the decimal point we also move one move then add zero to the empty place value so this will become 50 and this will become 5 so 50 divided 5 is 1 5 0 bring down 0 divide it again then the answer is 10 so uh, how many days will her chicken consume its food it will take 10 days consume all the the food of the chicken